everyone and welcome to my new dolly paint video well guys today we're going to customize one of these brand new barbie extra mini dolls honestly i have missed this release somehow i didn't even know these dolls existed but a couple of days ago i was shopping online looking for some new dolls and i saw a bunch of these adorable tiny barbie dolls so of course i bought a couple of them i bought two of these dolls and they were going to customize one of them i don't know they look really promising in the box they have really pretty faces they have looks like bendable legs and arms this is very good and yeah I just love the style of these dolls they look very stylish they look very sassy so it's something new something fresh I'm really excited about these dolls and about this release I don't even know when they were released it would be very funny if they exist already for 10 years but anyway for me they're brand new so let's treat them as brand new so guys let's unbox one of these dolls let's see how it all looks from close and then let's remove this doll's face cut off her hair and let's give her a complete makeover guys of course please don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos and of course please support my art here on youtube with your likes so and this being said let's start working so this is the doll that I will repaint today and honestly I think she's super adorable with this very pretty face and what is also very important her body has so many points of articulation so it's an adorable fully movable tiny Barbie doll really love it and my first idea was to turn her into a Thumbelina you know the tiny girl living in flowers from the Anderson story and Disney also had an animated movie based on it and I really loved this story as a kid well this doll is of course a little bit bigger than a thumb she's actually exactly the size of my hand but anyway, I think she will be perfect Thumbelina, I already undressed her, removed her jacket to see her body a little bit better, how it all bends, the elbows, the knees, and now I can take the rest of her outfit off, cut her hair very short, and then I will wipe her face with pure acetone. By the way, even though this doll is really tiny, her head has quite a normal size. Here it is next to the Barbie and Monster High doll heads and you can see that its size is somewhere in the middle. It's a little bit bigger than the Barbie doll head and it's a little bit smaller than the Monster High one. So I will need a regular amount of doll hair for this doll because the next step of our makeover is rerouting her hair. And I want to give her bright ginger hair, I want my Thumbelina to be super sunny and very summery looking, so I will make her hair color a little bit more intense than the one in the Disney's movie. 
So I've covered her head with a couple of layers of orange acrylics and now I will give her new hair using my rerouting tool. Well, and after this I will add some tacky glue to the middle of the head to fix all this new hair inside and then I will let it dry for a couple of days. So, and while this glue is drying, I can actually make her outfit. In the movie she wears a blue skirt with a white blouse and also a green corset with a pair of green ballerina shoes. So, I've prepared two in similar colors. Check it out, I think it would look really good. So, and now I will try to make first the skirt, then the blouse and then I will complete it with a white green belt. Making these super tiny outfits is quite difficult and yeah, very challenging actually, because they're really, really, really tiny, but I will try to do my best. Okay, this is where I've ended up with the outfit. I think it looks very cute, but anyways, let's be honest, anything would look really cute on this adorable tiny doll body. So now let's make a pair of ballerina shoes and I have to start with making shoe patterns this time because I've never made shoes for this type of doll bodies before. So I cut out all the details out of thermoplastic and I will warm it up and connect all the details together.
this is it, so now let's paint it! Well, the shoes are finished, the outfit is finished, I think everything looks really good, everything worked out despite the tiny size of all the details. So now I think we can go back to the doll's head, spray it with Mr. Super Clear sealant and then start drawing her face. I want to keep her original tanned skin tone, I know Disney's Tambelina was very pale, so what? I want mine to be ginger and tanned with green blue eyes and with a bunch of freckles. This is probably not the most popular type of nature, normally ginger people have very pale skin, but I think it will look very pretty on this doll. Okay, let's put the head aside for a while and let's blush her body before I start applying the freckles.
and when the body seems to be the same color like the face I can dilute some orange paint and then I will spray on a bunch of freckles to her face and to her body. Then I add reflections to her eyes using white acrylic paint and after this I think we are done with this step of the makeover. I will style her hair a little bit later and right now I want to work on the most exciting part of this project, for me at least. If you remember, Thumbelina lived in flowers. So I want to make a flower for her to kind of sit in it. I think it's gonna be really cool and it will also look like a cute interior decoration for your room, at least this is how I see it in my imagination. So first of all I need a bunch of petals, I'm going to make them out of warbler thermoplastic because I want this flower to be really strong, like a strong plastic flower. Then I warm the petals up one by one and I shape them to look more like real petals. I can connect all these freshly made petals into one beautiful flower. Well, hopefully it will be beautiful, I don't know yet.
yes, it looks really good. So now let's make some leaves and let's also make a stem of the flower. Now let's attach it to the bottom platform and as this platform I'm going to use this round piece of foam board. I don't know guys, it looks already so cool and we are nowhere yet. And if you can see I made this flower leaning a little bit forward. It's not completely straight because there will come a doll on top of this flower and the doll's head with her big hair will pull the entire construction backwards. So like this everything will be balanced, I hope, at least now it looks really good. So this is the front with the leaves looking to the left, this is an information for the future owner of this doll. Yeah, and now let's paint the doll. Oh my god guys, it looks so pretty, I'm really in love with this flower and now I still want to make the sides of this bottom platform gold and after this we will plant some grass in the middle.
bought different kinds of static grass to create a cute and realistic lawn in the middle. Normally people use this kind of grass for their dioramas. Well, it's also a diorama of some kind, I think. So let's start with applying a layer of these grass flocks to create a fluffy background. longer grass on top of this beautiful fluffy green background and for this I will need this special bottle it will help me to plant the grass in the right way so I put some of this grass inside of the bottle and then I start spraying this grass onto the platform Well guys, it was some exciting process, I can tell you. I really love trying new things, new art techniques, it was very interesting. And now we've got this beautiful lawn, this beautiful grass. It looks really amazing, very fluffy, very realistic. So now I still want to add a couple of lavender bushes to make it more colorful and more interesting. And we're done with this part of the project, I think. So now I'm going to style the doll's hair and I think I will go with Disney here, I will make a long ponytail and also some curtain bangs. This is it guys, she looks super adorable. Let's also add a couple of flowers to her hair and we're done I think. So now I can attach false lashes, add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures. So 
guys, here is finally my finished Thumbelina. You know, I thought it would be a very quick repaint of a tiny doll, but I had really a lot of fun with this doll, with this makeover, so as a result it has become a really big project with lots of details. But I can tell you honestly, the end result this time has really exceeded my own expectations. First of all, I really like her face, and I think that this doll's hat will also look good on a bigger body. I should experiment with it, because you saw today that this hat is comparable to regular size Barbie and Monster High hats. So, normally I would be able to combine this hat with a bigger body. But you know, it looks really cute and very special on this tiny body as well. She looks really adorable, she looks quite cartoonish, I really love this doll. I'm also very happy with the rose flower, obviously, it looks very delicate, very realistic and I also really love how the static grass turned out and I really want to use it again, I have a lot of this static grass now so I will have to find some other projects that would involve planting fake static grass so if you have any ideas, let them in the comments, please So guys, I really hope that you also enjoy this makeover at least a little bit so please let me know your thoughts in the comments under this video and I really want to know if you want to see more of these Barbie mini dolls in the future because I've got already an idea for another Barbie extra mini makeover something more for like Halloween spooky season but before I start working on it I would really love to know if you are interested in seeing these dolls more of this kind of repaints so please let me know what you think in the comments also under this video well, and this doll is now available for sale on eBay for three days, like always, so please check out the link in the description box under this video if you are interested. So, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, guys, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you very soon in two weeks on Friday in another very big doll makeover. So, have a nice weekend. Love you guys. Bye.